Okay. The square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x times many other infinite square roots of x equals to 3. What is the value of x? So let's find out. Okay. So we know very well from the rules of indices that the square root of a number like x is the same as x to the power a half. Right? So I'm going to use that very notation in this question. So let's write this as x to the power a half times so the next x is actually having two square roots this square root and this square root so it's going to be equal to the power a quarter let me show you how that is the square root of the square root of x right so that's the same as x to power a half and then times another half outside to power another half that's going to be, sorry, that's going to be, yeah, times, so that's x to the power 1 over 4, all right? So there we have it, so I'll clear this up. And so is the pattern, so the next one is going to be x to the power, how, what's that? The square root of, uh, the square root of the square root of the square root of x, so that's going to be x to the power a half times a half times a half, which is actually 1 over 8. Okay, so I'll just put this off times many others. Of course, this is just continuous. All this equals to 3. So using the rules of indices or powers, this is going to be the base is x. So we have a half. We add the powers, of course, since this is multiplication. So we have a half plus a quarter, right? Just make this better, half plus a quarter, plus 1 over 8, plus other powers, which I'm not sure uh, of, or I'm sure of, but they're just continuous, I cannot write all of them. This is going to be equal to 3, like the question is. So look at these powers, it's actually a geometric progression, and you can see that it, it is converging to a certain value, it is decreasing, right? So this is... A geometric progression and we can actually find the sum to infinity so the sum to infinity uh, of these terms this is going to be equal to uh, I'll just write that a half plus a quarter plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus many others that's going to be a half divided by 1 minus a half. I suspect you know the formula for finding the sum to infinity of uh, terms of a geometric progression, provided the common ratio is less than 1. So this is going to be a 1, all right? So if we substitute that here, uh, it's interesting. Let's see. Uh, I'll have this. So that's going to be x to the power uh, the sum of all this is actually converging to 1, so x to the power 1 equals 3, all right? And so x equals 3. The answer is amazing, isn't it? I mean, all these x's under the square roots and they are equal to 3. Okay, if you don't believe me, I'll do this using another method just to show you that this is actually true. So uh, just get another color and do this. So... Let me just use another method. And I'm going to make this as short as possible. I'm going to let y to be equal to the square root of x times the square root of x times okay, the square root of x and so on. Right? So, so that's going to be y equals the square root of x times so you can see that we have the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x. The x's are continuous, so that brings us back to the original function, which is actually y, all right? So there we go. And the whole of this equals to 3. Don't forget that. So I'll only take these last two parts of the equation because this is an equivalence relationship. So that's equally true. And then... This is going to be the square root of x times, so what's the value of y? Remember, y equals the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x 
which was actually equal to 3 from the original question. So that's x times 3 equals 3. So if I square both sides, I'll have 3x equals 9. So x equals 3. Same answer, right?